In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at a multiplying decimals example. And the example we have is 6.2 times 2.4. So let's start by arranging these numbers out as we would do when we are multiplying any numbers. So we're going to do 6.2 times 2.4. So first step we have to do is to pretend that there are no decimal points and to multiply without the decimals. So let's start by doing 4 times 2, which will give us 8. And then we're going to do 6 times 4, which will give us 24. Move on to the next line. So we're going to add a zero. Next up, we have to do two times two, which will give us four. And then we have to do six times two to give us 12. Now we can add these numbers up. So eight plus zero is going to be just eight. Four plus four is going to also be eight. Then we have two plus two, which will give us four. And then finally, we have one added nothing, which will result in just one. Now we have an answer of 1488. The next step we have to do is to add the decimals in the final answer, which is 1488. So to do that, we have to look at the numbers we are multiplying. So 6.2 and 2.4, and we have to count the number of digits after the decimal point. In 6.2, we have one number after the decimal point. In 2.4, we have and one number after the decimal point. Now, that means we have a total of two digits, and therefore, in our answer, there will be two numbers after the decimal point. So count from the right. One, two, so that means our decimal point will go right here, between the four and the eight. Now we can add the decimal points to give us an answer of 14.88. So that means our answer to this question is 14. So let's have a look at a multiplying decimals example. And this example is 5.23 times 8.1. So let's start by doing the same thing as we did in the previous example, which is to write those numbers out as if we're multiplying any whole number. So we're going to do 5.23 times 8.1. A thing to remember when multiplying decimals is that the decimal points do not need to be in line with each other. So now we can start multiplying these numbers. So 3 times 1 is going to be 3. Then we have 2 times 1, which is 2. And finally, 5 times 1, which is 5. So add a 0 and start multiplying again. 3 times 8 is 24. Write the 4. Take the 2 as a carry. 2 times 8 is going to be 16. And then add the 2 will be 18. So 8, and then take the 1 as a carry, and then 5 times 8 will be 40. 40 plus 1 is 41. So write the 41. Now we can add these numbers up. So 3 plus 0 is going to be 3, and then we have 2 plus 4, which will be 6. 5 plus 8 will be 13. Write the 3, take the 1 as a carry. 1 plus 1 will be 2, and 4 plus nothing will remain as 4. So that means we get a final answer, 42,363. The next step is to add your decimals to the final answer. So we have to add the decimals to this answer. So to do that, we have to look at the numbers we're multiplying and the number of digits after the decimal point. In 5.23, we have two numbers after the decimal point. In 8.1, we have one number after the decimal point. So that gives us a total of 3. So that means our answer must also have 3 numbers after the decimal point. So count from the right. 1, 2, 3. So that means our decimal point goes right here, between the 2 and the 3. So add it right there. And that means our answer to this question is 42.363. Now to learn more on 11 plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. 
please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.